Hello YouTube friends and followers. So as the title of this video suggests, I took and passed the Certificate in Structural Behaviour by the iStruct I scored 19 out of 20, which is one of the highest exam marks that they have seen. But that still really annoys me because I got one wrong. I got a bit careless on one of the questions, so I will explain the one that I got wrong and the correct answer. But I also do want to say I've got an announcement to make. So stick around for the end of the video for that announcement. So here's the question that I got wrong in the test. We have a three-legged portal frame um, and there is a concentrated horizontal load being applied at the base on the right-hand support. The middle and the right-hand supports are rollers and the left-hand support is a pin. I will draw the bending moment that I chose. I can't remember what two of the options were. All I remember was the one that I chose and the actual correct answer. Nonetheless, this is what I chose. And so let's go through why I thought this was the correct answer in the first place and why it turns out not to be. In my mind, I was thinking here is a horizontal force, concentrated load. Because these two are rollers, that means that the only place where you can get a horizontal reaction is at the left-hand support. And basically that is what I thought was the end of the reactions. So that because of that, so if you go up the leg, you get a triangular uh, bending moment due to the lever arm increasing and that force staying the same. If you go across the top, that lever arm stays the same. And because of that, because the lever arm and the force stays the same, that would be a constant moment and then it goes back down the other side. But but, but, the issue here uh, is that I have assumed that there is no vertical reaction anywhere. And at first sight, this looks like it's probably quite sensible. Um, where is there any applied vertical force? Um, you know, what, what is there to, uh, to resist? Well, the issue is, if you draw the deflected shape of this frame to get to get any bending moment on the outside, that would need to curve upwards there. But this bending moment assumed because we have a constant, we have a constant bending moment there. That means we have a constant curvature all the way across the top. But that cannot be the case because the deflected shape must pass through that point there. So in fact, we will get a contraflexion. This leg stays the same, it's, it's all axial, but because this, uh, this central leg pulls the top beam back down, there is a, uh, there is a vertical reaction downwards there. Maybe I should draw that in black. So there is a vertical reaction downwards, and because it's symmetrical, these two have to be upwards on the outside. So then, instead of our bending moment going, uh, staying constant along the top, instead of it being constant along the top, we do have a vertical force here and the lever arm changes as you travel along the top here. So then you, you'll get this shape here because of the fact that we have a contraflexure, uh, sorry, well, here and here. So this was a tricky question, caught me out. Um, but hopefully 
that should explain to you why you should not rush things. Um, even though I did double check my work, uh, I, f um, I failed to uh, think of the deflected shape. And if I had thought of the deflected shape, that would have given me my full marks, which I was wanting to get, but this that one this question cost me. Oh well. And now for my announcement. On 29th to 30th of September 2020, I will be hosting or co-hosting the Understanding Structural Design course at the iStruct E. I say at the iStruct E because this was meant to be held face to face in London, but due to COVID-19, this will be held online this time round. So, um, oh, my name's not there for some reason, but nevertheless, on the 1st of December to the 2nd of December, we will be doing the slightly uh, more elementary version, the Understanding Structural Behaviour course. Uh, oh, there's my name. And yes, we will be doing this on uh, Zoom as well. So do sign up in the link in the description below. And that's all. See you next time.